Once you put your username and password and authenticate with the Go to My Camera system, the first page is an overview page. The overview page contains simply a thumbnail of the last event from any of the cameras associated with your account. Managing and receiving events and sending notifications upon event detection is probably the most important function of Go to My Camera. Let me go through the main features here. Events here uh, are shown with their thumbnails in reverse order of arrival. This is an event of uh, 1342, 1348. When you go over with the mouse over the thumbnails, uh, you can see a quick summary of the event, name of the camera, and time of uh, detection. From this screen, you can scroll uh, to previous events and go back to the most recent events and to, if you want to play back a full motion video on event well then there is a play button here uh, when you do that a full motion uh, movie of the event is downloaded and played back streaming from the server uh, uh, from this screen uh, a movie can be exported into uh, your uh, PC and you can select a, a one of different formats uh, you want the movie and you can also go through a slideshow of single snapshots of the event so events also can be uh, filtered uh, by a camera or by time and you can narrow the selection of events uh, in for a specific period of time to see what cameras are uh, enrolled with this account you click on the camera tab on the camera tab as you go through uh, the single uh, camera descriptions you can see a thumbnail of that camera this is a snapshot taken from the camera at the time of accessing this page when you click on a description then you go to the camera settings you may notice here uh, that uh, associated with this camera there are two notifications an email notification and an instant message notification you can add and remove notifications at any time and you can select one of three different kinds of notifications SMS instant message or email if you select SMS you need to put a telephone number starting with the country code you can also remove any of the notifications associated and then you can update. I will come back to this screen uh, later, but I want also to show another important function of Go to My Camera, which is the screen that allows you to receive all streams live from all the cameras associated with the account. You can see here how uh, there are four cameras. Uh, these are four uh, live feeds from all of them. You can click on the lens here to get a live stream at higher resolution. Once on this page, you can have a snapshot of from this camera uh, at a VGA resolution, and then you can save this image uh, or look at it with more details. For viewing uh, live uh, video feeds as well as receiving events, uh, from your Axis cameras. Uh, cameras need to be first enrolled into Go to My Camera with the Create function, and they also need to be configured. They need to be configured for both uh, public IP access, so they need to be accessible from the internet to see a live feed, and also events need to be configured so that when there is a motion detected in the camera, events are properly uploaded to the go to my camera server the first thing you need to do once uh, logging into the uh, go to my camera service the first time is to add the new cameras uh, this is the screen where uh, you create a new camera uh, as you can see uh, you have to put a description a brand and model for the camera and a serial number that is a mac address and there is a way to get uh, the mac address automatically from the camera so let me show you how I'm adding a camera here. I give a description, then I select the camera model. This is a 221 camera. 
I need to provide an IP address. And this must be a public IP address and a port number. Now, uh, to be able to fetch the MAC address automatically, I also need to add username and password for that camera. At this point, I can test uh, if that camera, that address responds uh, from the internet by clicking on get MAC address. So if what you get back is the serial number MAC address of the camera, uh, that means that, that this uh, IP address responds at this port and the camera uh, is ready to be used. Uh, in order for you to use some of the um, mapping functions uh, of go to my camera, you also need to put a location here. If you do that, it's also possible for the system to automatically uh, geocode your location and obtain latitude and longitude so that when you go to the map function, uh, you can see uh, your camera located to a map through Google. Uh, to complete a new camera uh, uh, enrollment, you may want to add some notifications. You can receive three different kinds of notifications uh, when an event is detected. You can always add notification at some point later. To summarize, you know, enrollment of a camera is about specifying its public IP address and port, and very important, uh, the serial number of the camera. If the IP address specified is accessible from the outside, then the video function uh, of the GoToMyCamera service allows you to receive a live feeds from your camera from any location you are just using a browser. You can also get more information on uh, how to access live video from the internet in the help page uh, of uh, uh, Go to My Camera at the Access Live Video section. There is also another uh, how to uh, movie here on the help uh, page, specifically to, that describes how to set up uh, an Access 207 camera for uh, access from the internet. The other very important function of Go to My Camera, that is the ability to record video uh, of events from enrolled cameras, uh, relies on cameras' ability to uh, detect uh, motion uh, and also to upload a video buffer upon motion detection. This function also uh, relies on setting the cameras uh, in a way uh, that uh, they can detect motion uh, on a proper events and then can upload video uh, to the server and, and in the amount and the number of seconds uh, uh, you want. Uh, from the camera uh, page, uh, you can access the setup pages of the Axis camera by clicking on the IP address. You then can go to the setup of the camera to uh, specifically define events, types, event server, and uh, to uh, specify the motion detection criteria that uh, you want uh, to use uh, for detecting specific events. In this case, you can see how I set up this camera to detect motion uh, by the door. There is also uh, a uh, detailed description on how to set up access cameras uh, for event detection, uh, recording, and use with the GoToMyCamera service in the help section of GoToMyCamera. Uh, there is uh, uh, also a how-to description movie uh, for setting up a generic uh, access camera for use uh, events uh, with GoToMyCamera. So I hope this uh, has been a useful overview. One last uh, feature that is worthwhile mentioning is the ability to locate uh, your cameras uh, okay but this is uh, uh, all for now and uh, I hope you enjoy your go to my camera service